Nestled in the clear waters of the Adriatic Sea, Korčula, Croatia is a destination that effortlessly mixes natural beauty with rich history. This island, often called the Gem of the Adriatic, offers a unique blend of crystal clear waters, dense forests, and well-preserved medieval architecture. As you step foot on this breathtaking island, you are immediately transported to an era of knights, legends, and timeless beauty. Kortula Town, the main settlement on the island, is a medieval walled city positioned on an oval-shaped peninsula. This charming town, with its red-roofed houses and narrow, winding streets, is reminiscent of a miniature Dubrovnik. The island is also home to numerous small villages, vineyards, and secluded coves, making it a perfect destination for adventure and relaxation. As you journey through Kortula, you'll find that each island corner has its unique charm. Whether it is the unspoiled beaches, historic sites, or vibrant local culture, there's something to captivate every traveler's heart in Kortula. The history of Kortula is as colorful as its landscape. The island has been inhabited since prehistoric times, with archaeological evidence showing the presence of early Illyrian tribes. Later, it fell under Roman rule, before becoming part of the Byzantine Empire. In the medieval period, Kortula was a vital Venetian trading post, helping to shape the region's economic and cultural landscape. The Venetian influence is still evident today in the architecture of Kortula Old Town. The stone buildings, Gothic churches, and fortified walls testify to the island's rich history and the diverse cultures that have left their mark here. One of the most enduring legends of Kortula is that it was the birthplace of the famous explorer Marco Polo. While there's no conclusive evidence to prove this claim, the island embraces this part of its folklore with gusto. Visitors can explore the reputed house of Marco Polo and even climb its tower for a panoramic view of the town and the Adriatic Sea. Kortula Old Town is a maze of narrow, cobbled streets that all lead to the striking St. Mark's Cathedral, the town's centerpiece. This Gothic Renaissance church, built from local stone, features an impressive facade adorned with sculptures of saints and mythical creatures. Inside, the cathedral houses a collection of valuable old masters, including works by Tintoretto. The old town is also home to the bishop's treasury, which holds an exquisite collection of religious art and artifacts. For a unique experience, visit the town museum in the Gabrielis Palace. Here, you can delve into the island's history through archaeological, cultural, and historical exhibits. As the day winds down, take a leisure stroll along the old town's fortified walls. The sunset view from here, with the Adriatic Sea painting a canvas of orange and pink hues, is nothing short of magical. Kortula Town is not the only exciting place on the island. Vela Luka is another beautiful spot on the other side of the island, a town known for its prehistoric caves and vibrant fishing culture. Besides, several other small villages add to Kortula Zalor. Known for its sandy beaches, a rarity in Croatia, and sprawling vineyards, Lombarda exudes a laid-back charm that's hard to resist. Take a tour of the vineyards and indulge in wine-tasting sessions. Lombarda is renowned for its white wine, produced from native grapes grown in sandy soil. The wine has a unique taste, with a perfect balance of sweetness and acidity. The best beaches in Kortula Island are a mix of pebbly coves and sandy shores. Vela Prisina Beach in Lombarda, with its fine sand and shallow waters, is ideal for families. For those who seek seclusion, the pebbly beach of Pupnus Galuka, surrounded by steep hills and lush vegetation, is a perfect hideaway. The beaches of Proist Island, a short boat ride away from Kortula, are also worth a visit. Whether you prefer sunbathing, swimming, or snorkeling, the beaches of Kortula Island offer a slice of paradise for every beach lover. For adventure seekers, numerous cycling and hiking trails crisscross the island. The route from Kortula Town to Rechishche offers stunning views of the Adriatic Sea and the neighboring islands. Sea Kayak offers an opportunity to explore the coastline of Kortula and the smaller islands nearby. Badija Island harbors a beautiful Franciscan monastery.
You can also visit Badija with a small boat that frequently tours the island. A boat tour to the nearby islands, including the famous Havar and Miet, is another must-do activity. Kortula Island offers a range of accommodations, from luxury hotels to budget-friendly guesthouses. Getting to Kortula Island is part of the adventure. The most common way is by ferry from Orobic on Peljasak Peninsula, Split or Dubrovnik. The journey offers stunning views of the Adriatic Sea and the Dalmatian Archipelago. Alternatively, you can fly to Dubrovnik or Split and catch a bus or taxi to the ferry port. Once on the island, getting around is relatively easy. The local bus service connects the major towns and villages. For more flexibility, consider renting a bike or a scooter. It's an eco-friendly and fun way to explore the island. The best time to visit Kortula Island is during the shoulder seasons April to June and September to October. During these months, the weather is pleasant, the crowds are fewer, and the prices are relatively lower. The summer months, July and August, are also popular, especially for beachgoers. However, be prepared for larger crowds and higher prices during this peak tourist season. No trip to Kortula would be complete without savoring its local cuisine. The island's gastronomy is a delightful mix of traditional Dalmatian and Mediterranean flavors. Kortula is a destination that captivates with its natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture. Whether you're a history buff, a beach lover, a foodie, or an adventure seeker, Kortula has something to offer. Its charming towns, scenic beaches, historic sites, delectable cuisine, and warm locals make it a gem worth discovering.